Platinum Group medals have been getting a lot of attention with the Volkswagen scandal, but while Platinum and Palladium traded in tandem before, the scandal seems to have set them apart. Now joining me today is Rohit Savant of CPM Group. Rohit, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. So let's look at Platinum taking a hit uh, with the Volkswagen scandal here, Rohit. What's the forecast for the metal? We actually, in the medium to long term, have a pretty optimistic forecast for Platinum. Uh, you know, the Volkswagen scandal has clearly hurt prices in recent weeks. Uh, we think it's overdone. We think that some of the trends that are being stated right now as you know being negative for platinum and because of the Volkswagen scandal, people are going to move away from diesel uh, are really trends that have been in place for some time. So you know you've been seeing a decline in the amount of cars being sold, diesel cars being sold both in Europe as well as in other countries, uh, even before the scandal came to the forefront. Uh, so that trend was in place. You had a, a move away from uh, you know. Uh, the use of platinum intensive catalysts in commercial vehicles and now they're using these SCR catalysts that don't really use much platinum. So you already had a decline in platinum demand from the auto sector in place and this thing has really just kind of pushed it over the edge uh, in recent weeks. Uh, but we actually see you know, the weakness in prices right now being positive for demand going right. forward. You, know, you have the jewelry side which typically tends to benefit from weakness in, mm -hmm. in prices, you know, and, and jewelry is an important source of demand. So that we see as uh, going up in the next, um, you know, few months, weeks, years. And, and what about China's platinum imports? Do you expect those to jump? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a clear sign of, you know, uh, uh, improvement on probably the jewelry side because China is the largest consumer of platinum jewelry. It accounts for about 80% of the total global platinum jewelry market. So from now until the end of the year, what price range are you looking at for platinum? Uh, we see it climb back potentially over a thousand dollars for sure, and you know probably averaging around eleven hundred. And over the next two years, we actually have it climbing back to about twelve hundred dollars. So we we definitely see a positive outlook for the. Metal. Well, let's look at Palladium now. It has a different story here. It actually got a bounce uh, thanks to the Volkswagen scandal here. Uh, what's the forecast for Palladium? Um, for Palladium, we, we, we kind of remain positive on it, but we don't see a lot of upside. So we don't see prices coming off sharply, but we don't see uh, you know, a sharp, sharper increase in prices from where they are right now because a lot of the fundamentals for Palladium already are priced in. So kind of stays supported at higher levels. Uh, with limited downside, but not, not too much upside either. And finally, what about rhodium? It's the PGM we don't really talk much about, but what's the outlook here? Uh, rhodium, I guess, stands to benefit the most from you know, the use in uh, scaling back on NOx emissions. And a lot of the new emission standards are very focused on reducing these NOx emissions. So uh, rhodium would continue to play an important role. Uh, you, know, you, you definitely have demand from the auto sector supporting it. Um, we kind of have a, a flattish outlook uh, for rhodium prices, flattish to slightly higher over the medium term. All right. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, Rohit. Sure. And thanks for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow.